Two weeks after President Uhuru Kenyatta ordered Kenyan Defense Forces troops out of South Sudan, following the dismissal of United Nations mission in South Sudan Force Commander Lieutenant General Johnson Kimani Mogo Ondieki, the United Nations continues to receive the backlash over the decision that has caused diplomatic tensions between Kenya and the UN. We know that the people of South Sudan want peace. We know that the people of this region want peace in South Sudan. But we also know that peace will not come to South Sudan by blaming a Kenyan commander for the wider failings of the mission to South Sudan. We will no longer contribute to a mission that has failed to meet its mandate and which has now resorted to scapegoating Kenyans. With the debate dominating political podiums, international organizations have also joined the bandwagon in criticizing the decision by UN Chief Ban Ki-moon. The international policy group says Moon erred and violated UN regulations and procedures in the termination of a contract of a UN Miss Force commander. The group says that the investigation done by the United Nations does not appear to have objectively and comprehensively covered the crisis with the necessary rigor. It faults the methodology used in placing blame squarely on Ondieki's shoulders without considering the fact that he had only been in office two weeks before the attack by rebel forces on civilians in Juba. IPG reads mischief in the actions by Moon at the same time faulting President Uhuru Kenyatta for ordering the withdrawal of Kenyan troops from UN Mace. The group now wants Lieutenant General Ndeki and the Kenya Defense Forces respectively to seek legal redress from an international court in the event the United Nations does not deliver a personal apology to them. June Jacob Curia for Channel One News.